All right, sorry for that. I'm getting cut off there. I'm just going to upload this under a different file under the SEER. As I explained, that is the current event article reflection, and that is going to be the format that we use for our article assignments moving forward this week. Um, as I stated before, you could answer a lot of these questions before you get into the bulk of the text of any article that I assign you. Um, knowing the text title, the article heading, or any prior knowledge that you may have on the topic is going to be immediately items that you can uh, comment on. All right, the next part is to skim and scan the article. So when you get to the website, um, to take a glance and see, well, who, what, where, when, why, and how is involved in the article. All these questions you can answer just by looking at a couple sentences or even those keywords, text features, remember. Um, and then next, as you're reading the article, here are some things that I'm going to want you to keep an eye out. Key points, right? The main ideas and supporting details of the story. Use complete sentences. This is crucial. Being able to articulate what the main idea is with the complete thought. Uh, a lot of the times we run into problems here where we kind of shorthand things and then we go back to it and, um, you know, our own shorthand might be helpful to us but not to our audience, right? So we do need to be using complete sentences where we articulate what the main idea is and what are some supporting details that they are using to support the claim in that main idea. Just like if you were writing a paper for me, I'm looking for your supporting details. So now I'm asking you to look for those supporting details. Summarize the article using your own words. So you go right back up to those five W's and H and then the main idea and supporting details. So basically what you have been doing since you skim and scan the article and then read the article, you're using that material to summarize the article in your own words. That will usually be maybe about a paragraph or two uh, where you're summarizing an article that might be a couple pages long. And then finally, at the end of the assignment uh, of every article, you're going to be reflecting on it. Um, so the feelings, how did the people in the story make you feel, what, was made, what has made them feel that way. You're reflecting kind of on the maybe the emotions or the passions behind some people's writings. And why is it important? What's the big idea? How does this impact us? Uh, what is so news-oriented about it? And then finally, the reaction, how the news or information that has been presented to you affects you, right? Does it in, in, instill some kind of reaction in you that uh, might not have been there before? Was there something very interesting that you found out about uh, a certain topic that you didn't know before? That's why it's crucial to list off in this first part here before you read what you might know about the topic already. Because when it comes time to do the reaction part, you're going to be able to compare and contrast basically what you knew before and what you know now. All right, so that are, those are the steps of the SEER. Uh, the before reading, the skim and scan, the reading the actual article, and then the reflecting part on the article. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and preview an article that uh, you will be assigned later on and uh, be looking out for the assignment there and also for the, uh, the SEER instructions. All right. So the first article I'm going to have you guys look at comes out of the Student News Daily. Um, so this is going to be from writers that may be in your peer group. Some of them might be college aged as well, but this is generally geared towards a student audience. So where ties with communism China, communist China are close, the coronavirus follows, posted on March 12th, so a couple weeks ago, in Thursday's editorial. So we know just by all this that this is a newspaper of sorts, and um, we understand the heading, we understand the title, we know when it was delivered. We don't know the author yet. We have captions here that help us to understand who's photographed here. Um, we do have some... Hot topic buttons. Uh, uh, I'm sorry, not hot topic buttons, but hot topic words like Italy right here. Um, and if we scroll down a bit, we can see Iran is highlighted as well, South Korea. So you're starting to see what kind of countries are involved in this article. 
And then at the very bottom, you have a couple of questions that you need to answer. So before you even start on your SEER, you need to be able to answer these questions. Some of the questions in these articles that we're going to be working with actually appear in the SEER as well. And so if you do end up copy and pasting your answer in more than one place, that's fine. But some of these questions will not appear in your SEER assignment. So please do make sure that you clearly identify uh, in your document, in your Google Doc, or in your sheet of paper that you post to the Google Classroom, which one is the questions from the article and which one is the SEER handout, okay? So that's basically what we're going to be working on uh, moving forward. So remember that I will be linking articles in the assignment, nonfiction articles that you'll be using your SEER handout to answer the questions, and also if the questions are included about the article specifically, on the website, be sure to answer those as well. If you have any questions, make sure that you just leave a comment in the Google Classroom or you can send me an email. I will be near my phone uh, basically uh, all day to update my inbox and if there's anything that comes up, I'll try my best to get back to you as soon as I can. All right, guys? So just let me know if you have any questions and uh, make sure that you keep up with the assignment so it doesn't start stockpiling on you, okay? This is a new quarter, so basically kind of a, a clean slate as it were, uh, but also the uh, grades from the quarter below uh, before do affect your final grade in this class. So keep that in mind, but know that we have gone over one hurdle and we're halfway done. So good work so far and keep it up. All right, stay safe, stay well. God bless.